you know what are physical changes and chemical changes now these changes differ let's see how do physical and chemical changes differ from each other well melting of an ice cream this is a physical change you can see this is a physical change because only the appearance of the ice cream changes and not its chemical properties now this ice cream can be frozen again to bring back the ice cream however burning of wood this is a chemical change why can you tell me because first of all you cannot get this back secondly when wood is burnt new substances are formed so there is a change in the chemical properties of the wood so we can say that this is a chemical change and not a physical change now let's see how these changes differ from each other first of all physical change is a temporary change you can say that it is generally reversible you can generally bring back the changed substance to its original form whereas a chemical change is a permanent change or you can say it is generally irreversible that means you cannot bring back the changed substance to its original form secondly no new substance is formed well when a physical change takes place there is no new substance formed just in the case of that ice cream you can see that when the ice cream was melting no new substance was formed now there was no change in the chemical composition as well the ice cream did not become something else or did not started tasting something else so you can say that the chemical composition of that ice cream remained unchanged now let's see about chemical changes you can see that new substances are formed when a chemical change takes place in the case of burning of the wood does that wood remain the same no it turns into what ashes so you can say that the chemical composition of that wood changed into ashes so new substances are formed whenever there is a chemical change taking place thirdly the individual properties are retained whenever there is a physical change well you already know that when there is a physical change then chemical composition remains unchanged of the original substance that automatically implies that the individual properties are retained well in case of chemical change individual individual properties are not retained why because you know that the original substance which undergoes the change its chemical composition changes that means it will not retain its individual properties it will turn into another substance a new substance so its individual properties are not retained so now you know the difference between the physical changes and the chemical changes first of all physical changes are generally reversible whereas chemical changes are generally irreversible secondly no new substance is formed and chemical composition of the original substance remains unchanged in a physical change whereas during a chemical change new substance is formed and chemical composition of the original substance changes this means individual properties of that original substance is not retained and in case of physical change individual properties of that original substance are retained well can you ever think of any change that includes both physical and chemical change well can you think of any let's see well what change do you think is burning of a candle physical change or a chemical change well you will be surprised to know that burning of a candle includes both these changes physical and chemical let's see how well some wax melts and resolidifies on cooling as wax whenever a candle burns you can see that some wax melts you can see wax melting now this wax which is melting is again resolidifying here you can see it is getting thicker it is resolidifying here now this as we are getting it back you can say that this is a physical change now where is chemical change coming from let's see well some wax burns with the flame well some wax is burning with the flame that is why the flame is burning or otherwise how will the flame burn without any wax so some wax is burning with the flame and that is turning into vapor so this is what we call a chemical change 
so you can see that new substances are formed when there is a chemical change so what new substances are formed here well one is carbon dioxide and the other is water vapor so now you know that burning of a candle is both a physical and a chemical change